Skywatch Media News for the final week of January 2020. In the past 80 plus years, dating back to the year 1935, our planet has been experiencing a steady uptick in earthquake activity of magnitude 5 or greater with a few surges in seismic wave movement in the past couple of decades. If you happen to live in Alaska, then you no doubt would agree that the Earth's crust is shifting quite a bit within the last frontier, and that the Earth changes are apparent across the state of Alaska. If you take a look at this map of our most northern state, the earthquake data depicted here is captivating. It speaks volumes for the seismologists who analyze events in some of the more seismically active regions of the world. In essence, it's a barometer into understanding earthquake activity, both the frequency and the intensity. According to the Alaska Earthquake Center, the state reported over 50,000 seismic events in the year 2019, making it the second highest year on record. What this graph suggests is that earthquake activity is not slowing down, and neither is its intensity. In fact, there were two events in the Aleutian Islands that registered 6.4 magnitude last year. Additional seismicity involved two dominant earthquake swarms located in northern Alaska, including three ongoing aftershock sequences that were continuing from the previous year. Back in January of 2018, a massive 7.9 magnitude quake occurred near Kodiak Island, followed by a 6.4 magnitude quake in Kaptivik in August of that year. And as you may recall, a 7.1 earthquake struck Anchorage in November of 2018. All of these events were significant and implies that the intensity and the numbers of quakes is showing no signs of slowing down. I mentioned that other seismicity was dominated by two swarms in northern Alaska, one occurring in the Purcell Mountains and the other in the Brooks Range. Here's what took place in these two locations in the year 2019. The swarm that occurred in the Purcell Mountains began suddenly in February of last year. This swarm consisted of nearly 6,700 earthquakes, ranging in magnitude between 0.5 and 5.5, which was more than 13% of the total events that took place in the state of Alaska in the year 2019. The Eastern Brook Swarm saw nearly 1,700 earthquakes, ranging between 0.6 and 3.5 magnitude. Now, the main difference between the two swarms, other than the numbers, is that the Brooks Swarm was three times the size of the Purcell Swarm, covering an area of about 40 by 60 miles. The Eastern Brooks Swarm became active in the summer of 2018. It then subsided for a period of time, and then it picked up again in the late summer, the early fall of the year 2019. So there appeared to be a seasonal shift taking place at that time. But the reason for this unusual influx is unknown. I also mentioned that there were several aftershocks that took place, which were stretched out across the length of the state. One of the aftershock sequences took place in Kaptivik, on the heels of a 6.4 magnitude quake that occurred in April of 2018 in the northern foothills of the Eastern Brook Range. This was the largest earthquake ever recorded in this region. This particular earthquake produced a tremendous aftershock sequence with more than 1,400 tremors ranging between 0.5 and 4.9 magnitude. These aftershocks are continuing to happen. The most intense and the most frequent series of aftershocks took place in the Anchorage region. Back on November 30th of 2018, a seven magnitude quake struck just seven miles north of Anchorage. 
The event ruptured a fault between 20 and 35 miles deep. The rupture caused the greatest ground shaking in this region in 54 years, or since the great 9.2 megaquake of the year 1964. What the late fall 2018 earthquake accomplished was widespread power outages, structural damage to public and private buildings, and damage to roads and railways. This event resulted in an aftershock swarm consisting of more than 4,100 earthquakes in the range of between 0.5 and 5.0 magnitude in the year 2019. These aftershocks are continuing to take place. On January 26th of this year, a swarm of 13 earthquakes, including an earthquake of magnitude 6.1, followed by 12 aftershocks between 4.5 and 5.6 magnitude, shook an area near Amitignac Island. This event occurred just two days after a magnitude 6.2 quake shook the Tanaga volcano in Alaska. So what we see taking place in this region of the world is a worrisome sign. But residents of Alaska are not the only ones that have to worry about the next big event. Residents of the Caribbean islands are on edge in lieu of the incredible escalation of seismic events in a very short time period. Since December 28th of last year, Puerto Rico has been struck by more than 500 earthquakes with a magnitude of 2 or greater. The biggest quake came on January the 7th of this year when a magnitude 6.4 struck off the southern coast, destroying dozens of homes and structures. The aftershocks soon followed. Right now there is a great deal of uncertainty a lot of tension and anxiety. Many longtime island residents have said that they have never seen anything like this in their lifetime. People no longer feel safe in their homes. Many are living outside, in tents or in their vehicles, because they are fearful of the big one. Some residents have fled to local shelters for refuge and for access to food and water. Those who are in shelters do not know how long their stay will last. Puerto Rico has suffered tremendously through a devastating hurricane in 2017 and with the ongoing earthquakes and aftershocks that have rocked the island since December of 2019. Much of Puerto Rico still remains without power which has added to the misery that has inflicted the people of this Commonwealth Island in the past few years. Within weeks of the damaging 6.4 quake in Puerto Rico in early January, a powerful 7.7 .7 earthquake off the coast of Jamaica shook a good portion of the Caribbean on January the 28th its seismic waves extending all the way into Florida, where buildings were seen shaking in metropolitan Miami. In the Cayman Islands, uh, there were multiple reports of collapsed roads, large sinkholes, and cracks occurring in various locations across the islands. In Jamaica, students quickly scurried beneath their desks, while in Miami, workers were evacuating buildings bewildered by what was happening beneath their feet. The seismic waves were felt to cross much of the Caribbean.
In these times of trouble, look up and enjoy each moment, every step along the way, for it is the small steps that will make your journey complete. Thanks for watching.